will Jamaica be in 2030? In 2013, when the Planning Institute of Jamaica started implementing the Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program, it was articulating a new vision for the Jamaican population in a major national public education campaign. Jamaica has a healthy, natural environment. Jamaica's Vision 2030 National Development Plan was also sensitizing Jamaicans about the critical importance of preserving the natural environment and of the need to reduce the island's vulnerability to natural hazards and climate change. It was a fitting context for the introduction of the Adaptation Fund's first climate change adaptation project to the largest English-speaking nation in the Caribbean. Many Jamaicans can relate to the message of climate change adaptation. Devastating hurricanes and prolonged droughts are a perennial threat to livelihoods and the economies of many small, vulnerable farming communities who depend on the land. Dr. Wayne Henry, the Director General of the Planning Institute of Jamaica, counts the cost of the adverse impact of climate change on the Jamaican economy. For Jamaica, over the last 17 years, we've seen some 126 billion Jamaican dollars in damage, just under 1% of GDP in terms of damage cost. And, and if we are not careful, if we, don't, if we do nothing, it's, it's, it's expected to intensify and the damage will be much more severe. The GOG Adaptation Fund program is critical to the long-term strategic uh, direction of the country. While we speak of creating more robust levels of economic growth and, and more jobs in terms of job creation, you can make all the gains in terms of as an, as an economy and make many advancements, but if you don't build climate resilience, um, one episode of a natural disaster can set you back. Huh? You're looking at really addressing building resilience in the agricultural sector and in coastal areas. And if you think of agriculture and tourism, those are two of the key drivers in the Jamaican economy. Agricultural sector itself employs some just 18% of the labor force and contributes just below 8% of GDP. Um, and that's significant. And so a lot of livelihoods, you think of um, in terms of rural spaces and persons connected in those areas, it affects quite a, quite a few persons. Huh? And, and so for our farming community, and, and they have been key constituents in the Jamaican economy for so long, um, just to, to be able to build their own resilience. And you see the outcomes in terms of more confident farmers, more entrepreneurial farmers, people expanding in the farming community. And I think that is very key. The primary purpose of the Government of Jamaica Adaptation Fund program is to protect livelihoods. It has done so for over four years by improving land and water use management by hundreds of small farmers in vulnerable communities all over Jamaica, helping them to significantly increase their yields and earnings. The GOJ Adaptation Fund program has functioned under a program steering committee comprising stakeholders drawn from the Jamaican government, the private sector, as well as from the NGO and international development community to pursue initiatives to strengthen coastal protection, to promote awareness and build capacity in stakeholder organizations and communities for climate change adaptation. The program's funding of climate smart farming best practices has been lauded by the Permanent Secretary in Jamaica's Agriculture Ministry, Donovan Stanbury. This newspaper headline documented the program's contribution to Jamaica's National Onion Production Program. It has been a wonderful opportunity and we have seen onion farmers in the Arbor Parks in St. Thomas, Irish potato, they have really made use of those facilities. The Arbor Park is not only about providing infrastructure and so on, it's about providing um, technical support to the farmers, it's about providing markets. And uh, if you have all of that and all you need is just a little push with the distribution system, um, then this product has come in a wonderful way to help with that. I don't know that climate change for us is our own making. Sometimes it has to do with what others do, but we're living in a global village. 
So it's excellent that the international community is looking at the plights of, of people that might seem so distant in, in some of these districts, Hindstone, Daxton Hedge, Mackney, some of those places that I myself as a Jamaican don't even know. But we are seeing the local impact of a global project and we have to thank the Adaptation Fund for that. Beyond the macro impact of the GOJ Adaptation Fund program, the real essence of success is captured in the lives of hard-working, resilient Jamaican farmers like Alton and Eulalie Hall, who rise at the dawn of every day to meet and prevail against the challenges of climate change. This 28-year-old farmer, Lawrence Lynch, who grew over 20,000 pounds of onions on his one-acre plot in one planting cycle at one of the agro-parks in eastern Jamaica. Or the inspirational story of Yvonne Donna Budraham, who has blossomed into a successful farmer and business owner under the GOJ Adaptation Fund program. I always love farming. From a little girl, I always love farming. Claire Bernard is the Deputy Director General of the PIOJ with responsibility for sustainability projects in Jamaica. When she reflects on the impact and legacy of the GOJ Adaptation Fund program, she thinks of Donna's enterprise and industry. From a farmer like Donna, who knows, understands that climate change is not some theoretical construct, but something which she experiences and which she can put things in place to adapt to. So to help her to understand the simple, even in a simple way, the science behind what's happening in the natural environment, that natural phenomenon, and how, as a person, she can, for want of a better word, take dominion of what is happening around her. So for me, that kind of, that the knowledge gained and the demonstration of the knowledge gained would for me be an important legacy. The PIOJ enjoys a close working relationship with the Climate Change Division in the Economic Development Ministry, where climate change expert Yuname Gordon is a principal director. For climate change, the agriculture sector is a low hanging fruit. This project has also empowered the, some of the communities and some of the farming communities and given them probably the voice that was required to say yes, this is what we are experiencing, this is where we want to go, and also to, to, to enable them or engender them to take care of their own development. And I think this is, I think, one of the, the great benefits of this project, that it operated at the community level, in communities where lives were being impacted, and especially the lives of the farmers. This was one of the early projects to, 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 to give effect to what the government of Jamaica wanted to do. It's always important to have demonstration effect and the Adaptation Fund provided that opportunity for us with the resources provided for this program. So there are elements, there are areas in which we made mistakes and it's important to make mistakes because in development planning if you don't make mistakes you don't succeed and the Adaptation Fund provided us an opportunity not just to succeed in particular areas but to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes and I want to encourage and contributor countries to keep putting resources to the Adaptation Fund. It's an experiment that has worked and one that has benefited um, people in small island developing states. So thanks AF. Thanks to the Adaptation Fund project and RADA to help us in our farm. Thank you GOJ Adaptation Fund program for helping us to break the ties and renew the land.